once that's done, you can close out Photoshop, go to where you saved your target files out, grab all six of them, go to your CODD4 directory. If you never made custom textures or mini maps or load screens, actually do have tutorials, look those up. If you're curious on how to make those. But if you never did, you won't have this folder. It's called Texture Assets, so create this in your COD4 directory. Inside your Texture Assets folder, create another folder called Skybox. In here, grab your target files, all six of them. Copy. Oops, let's not do that. Fuck. Um, Alright, so let's copy and paste them into your Skybox folder. Voila, there they are, all six. Now let's open up a COD4 Radiant Asset Manager. Before you can import the sky, you're actually going to have to create this file. So go to your COD4 directory, source underscore data. We're actually going to have to create this custom underscore texture dot GDT. GDT means game data file. You can name this file whatever you want, mine's just called custom textures. Alright, to do that, launch Asset Manager, go to File, Save As, you'll be in your COD4 directory, scroll down to Source Data, and create this file, and save it. Since I already have mine created, I'm just going to open it, start a new entry, and import our sky. Alright, make sure this is set to Material, click New Entry, name this whatever you name the files. My files are called... Let me make sure. I actually renamed them to evil underscore sky because the reason I did that is I actually have a lot of textures and I want to confuse uh, the sky texture with anything else because it was just called evil. I might have another texture in here called evil. So I renamed mine to evil underscore sky with uh, the code after it. Front, back, down, left, right, up. So mine's evil underscore sky. That's what I'm going to put here, evil underscore sky. From there, uh, material type, let's set this to sky. Uh, sort will be skybox horizon. There we go. Air will be, or surface type will be none. Usage will be sky. Uh, this one will be click on tool. I believe everything else is alright. Well, maybe not. Let's double click three dots. Go to your directory. Scroll down to your texture assets folder, your skybox. And this one, you're going to need to grab your map name underscore FT for front. So, where is that one? There we go. Grab that one. Make sure it's your map name, your file name, underscore FT. Alright, when I said everything's not right, you actually have to switch this to non MIP. Uh, motto is fine. Let me check this box. Alright, I believe everything else is good. Let's see, just double check. Yeah. Alright. Let's uh, import this into COD4 by hitting F10 or go up to PC Convert. Convert uh, assets only. And hopefully we get all blue. And we do get all blue. It says everything works. Conversion's done. Hit any key. If this comes up yellow or red, um, you made a mistake. Make sure all these options are correct and do it again. Since that's good. Alright, so let's close that out and launch a level editor and see if our skybox is there. Once the level editor is open, I'm assuming you know how to make a map and how to make a skybox. If you don't, I'll show you real quick. Go to the top down view. Let's make sure we get everything. Click chalk. Draw out a box. Hit control tab. Encompass your whole map with the skybox. Just like that. Alright, from there, you want to go up here which button is it? Yes, you want to click on hollow. By clicking hollow it's actually going to create a, the chalk on the inside and outside. You see at the bottom and at the top. 
All right, once that's done, let's see if the texture's in there. Go to textures, go to usage, scroll down to sky, and boom, there's my evil underscore sky. There we go. You have now just imported a custom sky texture into Studio D4 Radiant. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. <laughs>